Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will look what is the pet index function in SQL Server and how to use this one. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how we can we use the pet index function in SQL Server. So the pet index is a T SQL function in SQL Server that searches for a specific pattern in a string and returns the starting position of the first occurrence of that particular pattern. It's similar to the char index function, but instead of searching for a specific character, the pet index allows you to search for a pattern using the wildcard characters. So the syntax for the pet index is as follows. In the pet index function, we need to pass the pattern like which pattern we want to search in a particular string and then it returns the starting position of that particular pattern. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. I got the SQL Server instance here and uh, I'm using AdventureWorks 2019 database and in this particular database I got this particular product table okay so here we have different kind of products and we have different names of the products as well uh, and there can be some sub strings here like uh, there are some washer tape and there is some nut as well so for example I want to know the uh, position of the nut value in the product name okay so how I can do that so uh, maybe in the beginning I can use the pet index function pet index okay and then in the single quote I can use the uh, percentage sign and in the percentage sign I can write nut okay and then I need to give the column name so my column name is the name okay and I can call it as a uh, starting position so I can call the new column as starting position so if I execute the query so now you can see for these many records uh, the starting position is 0 uh, for the nut however for this particular record the starting position is 11 okay same way if you scroll down uh, you can see that here the nut contains so that's why there is a starting position here okay and in the records where the nut value is not available so the starting position is zero okay so uh, there can be some use cases to know like uh, if a particular string is present in another string or not so let me show another example suppose uh, if you want to uh, select only the records uh, where in the product name uh, there is a numeric value like you can see like we have the numeric values like flat washer one flat washer six and for some products there are there is no numeric value like fork and or free wheel so here there is no numeric value so suppose I want to select the records where there is a numeric value present in the name so I can use the pet index function for that particular case as well okay so I can put the where clause here where and then I can use the pet index pet index and now in the single quote now I can use the two percentage sign and then bracket and here I can write 0 to 9 okay so I want to search for the 0 to 9 character inside the name column okay and if this particular value if this is greater than 0 it means that the product name it contains some numerical value so it will return only the records where there is a numerical value in the name column okay so right now there are 504 records the total number of records in the product table however if I will execute this particular query then there are just 316 records and now you can see in the product name every product contains a numerical value okay so uh, this is possible using the pet index function and uh, yeah and there can be some other use cases of the pet function as well so in next video I will talk about the stuff function in SQL Server and then I will give a use cases of like how you can use the stuff function and the pet index function together to uh, achieve something okay in SQL Server. So just stay tuned for the another videos. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.